The GTN uh, 650 and 750 is going to have all the capabilities of our uh, 430 and 530 and then some. Uh, we've completely revamped the, uh, the way the unit integrates and operates with the pilot, so the, uh, the graphical flight plan editing and the graphical user interface that we've developed with the, the GTN series um, is going to be a huge uh, step uh, in uh, ease of simplicity and operations for, uh, for all of our pilots out there. Touchscreen in a cockpit could be of, of concern, but uh, one of the, the great advantages that we have with the, the GTN is we've built into the bezel a number of anchor points for your hand itself. So if there is turbulence out there, your hand actually is anchored to the unit itself and moves with the turbulence, allowing for a much easier uh, situation to operate the, uh, the unit itself. The graphical flight plan editing mode is, is really easy to use. You just touch on the, the map screen uh, one time and you'll see a button pop up there that says graphically added flight plan. And you touch on that button and that allows you to basically do all of your flight plan creation or editing uh, right on the map itself. So as you're going from airport to airport or changing an airway um, or even just trying to avoid a, a thunderstorm, uh, you can easily do that with the, the graphically uh, uh, edit flight plan mode. So you're in this bright map panning mode, you'd hit graphically at a flight plane. And now drag the corner of that over Emporia. And just put it on Chinook. And you're done. Well, we've taken integration to a whole new level with the, the GTN 750 um, and 650. Uh, both units can do a remote transponder function, and so there's a full-time button on the display that allows you to touch on that button, and if you've got a Garmin remote transponder, you then can control the transponder tuning and control its mode of operation. Uh, additionally, on the 750 series, um, we've got an uh, integrated audio panel control as well. So if you purchase the, the optional uh, Garmin remote audio panel, um, you're able to then control the switching between comms, control of your intercom, volume controls, all that is integrated on the nice large touchscreen display. The GTN is ready for next gen uh, and we'll be able to provide the WASP solution into a compliant ADSB uh, transceiver. Uh, allows you to do LTV, uh, glide path, uh, precision GPS approaches uh, all the way down to 200 foot minimums. The GTN 650 series is the exact same size, both height and width, of our GNS 430. Um, the GTN 750 series um, is a bit larger than our 530 with the uh, six, uh, six inch diagonal display that we've got on the, uh, the 750 series. Um, so that's going to take uh, a little bit more panel modifications to, uh, to swap that one out. Um, from a uh, pin standpoint or connector standpoint, the, uh, the units are going to leverage a lot of the same wires that are already in the aircraft if you've got a 430 or 530 in there. The connectors on the, the back of the, uh, the GTN series, though, are a little bit different because of the increased capability and the increased interface capability that we'll have going forward with that product. I think this product is going to be a home run for general aviation. Integrating uh, WASP GPS, navigation, communication, and all the interface that uh, really evolved over time with the 430 and 530, uh, most of that interface is available at the onset of the, the GTN. So this really is a, a product for, you know, for the next 10 years or more, and uh, we're really excited to, for it to come to market.